This thing's about as big as my face. Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Pillin' Barbecue. Today, we're cooking up a cowboy steak over a live fire on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet smoker. Stay tuned. All right, so what I'm working with today is about a three pound, uh, almost a three inch thick cowboy steak. This is certified Angus. It is choice, not a prime or a Wagyu. This is a choice, but I picked this one out because it's got a huge spinalis on the top. Should cook down really well. Um, not much trimming to do at all. That's a little bit of trimming that I trimmed on the outside. Uh, just a little bit of silver skin and that kind of thing, anything extra. Other than that, we're fixing to season this thing up and get it on the smoker. So first things first, I'm gonna use a little bit of binder. Got a little truffle oil you can use, uh, olive oil. You don't have to use a binder at all if you don't want to. Doesn't take much. Rub it all over, just giving the rub something to adhere to. So we're going to do a reverse sear. We're going to smoke at 225 degrees on the yoder until we get up to about 110, 115 degrees internal temperature. I don't really like that piece right there. Get it off. Then we're going to take it off remove the uh, direct flame grill plate so we have access to the direct flame and then we're going to sear it off on our grill grates. We're going to let it go to about 135 degrees internal temperature and then we're going to take it off. So seasoning wise I've got some Kinder's the blend which is salt pepper garlic. I really like this. Got some coarse garlic and that kind of stuff in it. We're going to season it pretty liberally because this is a large piece of meat. I have done this once before on a pellet smoker, but it was a pellet smoker that did not have the direct flame capability. So I think this is going to kick it up to another level with this yoder. Pat everything in. Make sure we get all around that spinalis because that's where the nice meat is going to be. My mouth's watering already. And we're going to get the other side as well. And even though this is choice, it does have a fair amount of marbling in it. We're going to push that in and let it sit for just a minute and then we're going to do our second level of seasoning. Now for the second layer we're going to use fire and smoke thunder and longhorn beef rub. I got just a little bit of this left and hopefully it's going to be enough to cover this big old ribeye. Now this is a little bit darker color, but it is a little bit coarse too with some black pepper in it. Press it in. Get a little bit of everything. Let's get all the seasoning that's on this board here. Those rubs ain't cheap. Let's get this uh Give it a good press. And we're gonna let this sweat in for about 15 minutes while the other comes up to temperature at 225 degrees. And then we're gonna get it on. Alright, the yoder's up to temperature. 
Now the exhaust is over there, so I'm going to put it on that side so the smoke goes straight across this big ribeye and gets plenty of gets plenty of smoke on it. I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to get the meat probe. Probably put it about that far, right in the middle, right there, and keep an eye on it. We want to get an internal temperature of about 110 degrees. When it gets to about 55 or 60 degrees, I'll probably come out here and give it a flip, flip it over, so that smoke gets a chance to get all the way around that big ribeye. So I'll bring you back when we start to flip it. guys so I forgot to turn my microphone on when we took the steak off but it reached 110 degrees internal temperature so we took it off and let it rest we've cranked the yoder up to 500 degrees it will go hotter than that but when we're direct flame grilling there's really no need for it because it is screaming hot right now um, the grill rates are well over 600 degrees probably 650 plus um, I have melted some compound butter that I made earlier uh, the compound butter has got some uh, lime zest, some Heath Riles jalapeno and garlic rub or garlic jalapeno rub, um, and some cilantro in it. So we're fixing to go probably a minute and a half, give it a twist, another minute and a half, flip it, and then do the same thing or until we reach 130 degrees internal temperature. Let's get started. And here we go. And start the timer. There it is, one minute, 30 seconds. Give her a little butter. Get it closed. Minute 30. All right, there's another minute and a half. Let's turn it over, see what we got on that side. Beautiful. Matter of fact, let me get it over here to this side and go ahead and check. We're still okay. We're still all right with our internal temperature. Let's go on the front here. Get the lid closed. All right, and now our last twist. All right, guys, with the fireboard spark, we're at 131 degrees internal temp. So we're gonna pull it off and let it rest. All right, guys, so we've let the steak rest. Now it's time to see how we did. We're gonna cut into it, see what the doneness is, and then give it a taste test, see what the flavor profiles are like. So to start off with, we had a three pound cowboy steak ribeye USDA um, Angus. We started out at 225 degrees and let it smoke until we got to about 110 degrees internal temperature. Took it off and let it rest while we cranked the temperature up on the yoder to 500 degrees. We got those grill grates well over 600 degrees and seared it off a minute and a half for each twist until we got to an internal temperature of 130 degrees. We took it off and let it rest and that's where we are now. Let's check it out and see how we did. We'll go right across there, nice spinalis there on that end.
and pretty good just a tad over but man look at the juice super tender for sure oh yeah very nice let's slice this thing up Man, it's tender. Look at that. We're going to plate it up, and then we'll do a taste test. All right, guys. So all this was cooked on the Yoder Smoker YS640S today. We've got some grilled shrimp, tequila lime shrimp. We've got some uh, Mexican street corn that we made as well. And then, obviously, we've got the cowboy steak, the ribeye flame grilled. And I'm fixing to get a piece of this spinalis right here. That piece right there has got my name on it. See how we did. Mmm. I've got to tell you, that might be the tenderest choice ribeye I've ever had. That is really good. The flavors from the rubs, really good, but the tenderness, I mean, it's almost chuck roast type tender. Mmm. Very nice. The Yoder Smoker did a great job today. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and until next time, We'll be peddling. See you.